Hey guys, today we're going to be making a DIY EOS, and I know I haven't posted in like a week or so, I've just been like really busy, but anyway, let's just hop right into the materials. Hey guys, um, these are the materials we're going to be needing, and for the actual lip balm, you will need two crayons, a white crayon and a um, color of your choice. You need some white crayon because if you don't, um, then the um, EOS turns the exact color of the crayon, and for me, that's just... A little too dark and if you want to keep it like that it's um your choice you're also going to be needing petroleum jelly and i you could get this basically anyway i got mine at um target and i saw them at um costco too and for the actual structure if you're like using an empty eos container you're going to be needing an empty or almost empty eos container you're also going to be needing scissors a tape roll and last but not least, nail clippers. So for this next part, you're going to be needing a spoon, your empty OS container, your scissors, your nail clippers, and your um, Ziploc bag. And all you want to do is just simply open up your EOS and scoop out the excess EOS. So once you've emptied out your EOS container until you get to your spiral part, you're going to go in with your scissors and simply just take out that plastic part. So once you've gotten your spiral part out, you're just going to wash out your container the best you can. So once you've washed out your EOS container the best you can, you're going to go in with your nail clippers and just snip off the excess plastic part from your spiral part. So for this next part, you're going to need your glass container and your pot. And your EOS container should look something like this. And now you're just going to fill your pot up with water. Now I'm just going to fill up my pot with water about a quarter of a way so it's not too much water. Now all you want to do is just peel your crayons. As you can see, I actually peeled my crayons halfway because I'm only going to be needing half of them. And I'm just going to cut them in half. So now all I'm going to do is just turn my stove to a high heat until it comes to a boil. And once it does come to a boil, I'm going to move it down to medium. So now you just want to take saran wrap. And I know I didn't mention this in the supplies, but you are going to be needing it. You're going to actually just take a little slit and place it to the top of the eels. Now all you want to do is smooth it out so there's no bubbles creating bumps in our eels. Now once you've put your um, saran wrap to the top of your container, if I were you, I would just cut off the excess. Now going back to our stove, you're just going to add one and a half scoops of petroleum jelly. So now once you've added your petroleum jelly, you're going to add your crayons one at a time. Now once your uh, mixture is liquid, you're going to get a spoon and stir it together so it is one solid color. So once your liquid mixture is one solid color, um, you're just going to pour it into both halves of your U.S. container. And as you can see, I just put a funnel. And sorry for my brother's arm. Next, just put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Yes, it's finally been 30 minutes. Now we can mold our EOS. Now all you want to do is slowly take out your EOS by pulling the sides of the saran wrap and then take it out of the saran wrap.
Now all I want to do is heat up both layers of the EOS and quickly mold it together. And if you have any bumps on the EOS, you could, again, heat it up and smooth it out with your finger. you guys enjoyed this easy tutorial on how to make an EOS, make sure you check out my Sidebow t-shirt video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you subscribe, comment down below. And have a craftastic day. Bye!